All right, welcome back to Snip Talks MMA. So I want to talk about, man, this is 2020, and some big stars are supposed to return this year. So the obvious number one guy that's supposed to return after the suspension of that EPO is TJ Dillashaw. Now, the last time we saw him, he lost to Triple C, the Korean, I mean, the, the Olympic uh, bandweight or uh, flyweight champion, Henry Cejudo. And when he lost, you know, knockout, I think, I think Cejudo knocked him out like 30-some seconds, you know, fast. And then Dillashaw announced that um, Usada and everybody that, you know, he didn't pass. And he admitted it. He told everybody he used the EPO and the whole thing. It raises uh, red blood cells and, you know, everything of that nature. Just so we can get an advantage with the weight loss and the cutting. I get it, man. But it's like, bro, no. Because, like, Cody was saying it. Gam Brian was saying it. No love, man, was saying it that he was a cheater. And it's just like, dang, TJ, don't don't let that be real, man. Like, when I first started watching you, I think it was, like, 2011. He was fighting uh, the magician, you know, uh, Dotson out there on that team. I think it was Team Bispin and Team Miller, you know, back in the day. And I was like, man, you know, you a heck of a fighter. You know, TJ, a heck of a fighter, man. So then when Dotson won, I was like, well, you know, normally it'd be like the end, like when I seen Tony win his ultimate fighter, Ferguson, back in the day. So I was like, okay, let's see what happened. And then next thing you know, TJ is knocking cats out. He's a decision. He's getting wins. And next thing you know, he's the champion. So that's impressive. I want to say that I'm excited to see him come back. He's uh, eligible the day after the Connor and Cowboy uh, main event UFC card. So January 19th, he's eligible to come back. Also, we got Dan Hardy that's supposed to come back. And I like Dan Hardy, man. You know, people don't give him the credit, but he challenged for that welterweight belt against GSP. And I was like, man, who is this guy with the mohawk and the little shark mouthpiece? I was like, okay, you know, Dan Hardy. But today, Dan Hardy, hey. You got to respect my man. Great analyst. He's over there on, a, what's that, BT Sport? With, with great breakdowns of fights. And I know he will come back strong. You guys tell me who, who you would like to see Dan Hardy fight on his return bout if he come back in 2020 after that Wolf uh, Syndrome with the thing with his heart. So you guys let me know. Also, uh, let me know who you think TJ Dillashaw should fight um, upon his return. Should he get somebody in the top 10? And batting weight, or should he just go for top five? Obviously, he's not going to go for, you know, the championship right away because, you know, people and the integrity, that won't work. And then also, another guy that I want to see in 2020 is my man, Rumble Johnson. Now, if he come back, like you say, he's supposed to come back for heavyweight, it's going to be crazy because the only fight I even care about Rumble fighting the heavyweight is Ngannou. So after this whole Ngannou Rosenstruck fight, Hey, if, if Rumble want to get in there and try to get a title shot, man, fight Francis Ngannou because somebody's going to sleep. And I don't care how much the card is. If it's $100, $200, I want to see somebody get put to sleep because I know it's going to be a quick, ugly, nasty fight. So you guys let me know who you think Rumble should fight upon his return. Like I said, 2020 is going to be a heck of a year. Already we got the first card main card of the year, Connor and Cowboy, you know, along with Showtime and Holly Holm, Raquel Pennington on that card. You know, we got Habib, Nemega Medoff, and Tony Ferguson on the coming up. That's going to be crazy because, you know, everybody's saying that Tony is the kryptonite. Can he walk down Habib? Can Habib take Tony down and keep him down? Is Tony Ferguson going to catch him with that darts? Because that seemed like that's the idea that Eddie Bravo was saying without saying it, that he's going to try to darts him. So, I mean, you guys let me know what you think about these upcoming cards. Again, we got Francis against Rosenstruck. We got Leon Edwards against Woodley. I mean, man, we got some great cards coming up. Uh, man, I, just, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. It's amazing. We, may, we got DC maybe against Stipe. You know, just next month, February, here in Houston, we got John Jones against Dominic Reyes. That's going to be a crazy fight. You know, is Reyes really what he say he is? Is he really athletic enough, as he say he is, that he's a better athlete than John Jones? Or John Jones with wrestling, elbowing, put him to sleep, and then get ready for Izzy 2021. So you guys let me know. Hey, like, share, comment. Catch you on the next one.